Peace, family. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, this is the continuation of uh, the reset street that we are uh, actually living, you know what I'm saying, experiencing in this realm and uh, the continuation breaking down of the religio uh, governance, you know what I'm saying? And how these religious governments affect us all, doesn't matter what tribes, doesn't matter what what you do, you know what I'm saying? It's a world, worldwide thing, like, you know, world governance thing going on. And it's all religious, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you're going to see uh, some dudes like... Uh, this, I told you about these elections that are going on in America and everything, and uh, how that uh, both candidates, man, are totally something that nobody wants, wants or are willing to really vote for, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at least in my perspective, in my opinion. And uh, how it is a mess, and purposely, you know what I'm saying? And because nobody really wants Kamala because you know that, you know, she's unfit. And Trump is also unfit. You know what I'm saying? But I want to show you uh, another aspect this of this three-dimensional cube. You know, well, four-dimensional, well, it's a cube, okay? So it's square by square by square by square by square, you know what I'm saying? And they trap your energy inside. That's what a cube do. A cube traps your energy inside. You know that? So like the houses that we leave and all this stuff, it, it traps your energy inside. You know what I'm saying? What's going on here? The Sabbath breaker stoned. <laughs> I, that's something, people. <laughs> I told you, man, this religious stuff is really, really crazy. You know what I'm saying? Give you, you turns in the stomach, man. Look what they're doing there. Uh, stoning a man. And they don't, they look skinny as hell, man. And they're stoning this dude because, what? Was he working in the Sabbath? Is that what's up? You know what I'm saying? So, it's a religion, people. Yahweh religion. It's about killing people and not... There's nothing nothing good coming out of there, man. It's just a, a religious freak, freak, freak road, man. That, you know, you just believe and believe blindly and all that crap. And But I'm going to explain to you that uh, the whole thing is controlled by this... Uh, Dudes that run them, the dudes that formulate the book, you know what I'm saying? They they are ahead with this. They are not on level with the fourth dimensional room that you live on, like in your house. All rooms are square, right? It's for a reason because your ancestors were having had like you know pyramidal style houses. All these houses end up in like a cone, and like a pyramid. You know what I'm saying? So the energy flows in and flows up and flows out. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't stay trapped. You know, this whole construct, yeah, Yahweh construct is a cube. And when it's there, a cube, first off, a cube, a square, they take your energy and everything. So you become depleted over years and years of living in that box, in that cube, you know what I'm saying? But this video is not about that, man. Let's concentrate. This is about uh, the religio simulation and how it works and how it's all interconnected, the, the script, okay? This is uh, just Wikipedia, okay? Because this is just something that they do. I want to show you it is a script. Wikipedia is really the script, if you don't know what Wikipedia is. Yeah, you're not going to find no truth there, but it's a script of the simulation, just like the Bible, you know what I'm saying? So, 
you, here you see the capital punishment in the Bible, and the capital punishment in the Bible refers to instances in the Bible where death is called for a punishment and also instances where it is uh, prescribed or prohibited. A case against capital punishment can be made from John 8, uh, where Jesus speaks words that uh, can be construed as condemning, condemning the practice. So, like, if Jesus was coming against the Jews, he was worthy of capital punishment. These are, there are, however, many uh, more Bible verses that command and condone capital punishment and examples of being carried out sins that were punishable by death include homicide striking one's parent kidnapping cursing one's parents witchcraft and divination bestiality worshiping other gods violating sabbath child sacrifice adultery incest and male homosexual intercourse there is no biblical legal punishment for lesbians, as mentioned. Oh, really? Wow! <laughs> this is also, you know, sexuality. When they talk about, uh, you know, punishment for, you know, they, they talk about homosexual, but that word homosexual doesn't exist there. You know, it exists sodomite. Sodomites in the Bible, no, there is no homosexuals, you know what I'm saying? So when they say sodomites, they're talking about men only? We can break that down at some point. Um, when they, against capital punishment, while the Bible very clearly condones and commands capital punishment, there are verses that can be interpreted as opposing the practice. For example, when Cain murdered Abel, God sentenced him to wandering as a fugitive rather than to dead. And when issued a warning against killing Cain, you see that? So Cain murdered his brother and did not get a capital punishment from, from, from their God, people. Instead, that God gave him protection and, and said that if somebody kill him, they're going to pay ten times more or something. You know what I'm saying? So, he gave Cain free free ticket out from jail. A similar sentiment is suggested uh, in Proverbs 28, 17. It is seen from two, uh, 2 Samuel uh, 14, 1 to 11, that kings will grant clemency in ex extenuating circumstances. In that case, one who had killed was an old child, and the king allowed him to remain alive under house arrest. The prophets repeatedly beseech the masses to repent so that God will not destroy them, people. Additionally, there are numerous verses that condemn revenge, judging, anger, and hatred. This whole thing that Yahweh do, people. He revenge, he judge, he's got anger and hatred, as well as those that promote peace, harmony, forgiveness, and acceptance. You know, this is crazy, people. Here's a 2004, 2000, and 2009 shows that the laws related to capital punishment shifted over time uh, with old laws being abandoned and new laws taking their place, people. However, the points out, so they're saying that this capital punishment thing goes and comes back. Sometimes the law go in, they change his capital punishment, then they change his not capital punishment, then they change his capital punishment, depending on how they're running this religion and how they uh, 
what they're doing to get, you know, the power. They, they, you know, they switch it on and off, the capital punishment thing. And you know that the capital punishment thing, it's all evil stuff. You know, it's all satanic. You know what I'm saying? However, the point is that some later laws seem to mitigate the severity of earlier ones. He further quotes Glenn Stassen, who argues that even in biblical times, capital punishment was gradually, if not progressively, being abandoned. Mm -mm -mm. You see that? Even in biblical times, they knew that the, the capital punishment thing was stupid. And the only way it existed is because this whole thing is wicked. Pointing out that capital punishment is rarely found in the prophets and the writings, Paul uh, Onyango, City's Carol Mayers, argues that uh, treat the treatment of uh, adulteresses in Ezekiel 16 and 23 is far more progressive than that of other ancient Near Eastern cultures of the time due to the avoidance, rejection of capital punishment. Perhaps the strongest case against the capital punishment can be made from John 8, in the New Testament, of course, where Jesus seems to say that capital punishment should not be carried out contrary to Mosaic law, people. That Jesus said that the capital punishment should not be carried out, people. And they killed him. They, they gave him capital punishment, people. Can you believe that? The same people break the law of their God, kill their God, gave him capital punishment, and this is what they sell to the room, as we're going to find out. In John 8, uh, the Pharisees challenged Jesus by presenting a woman who they say committed adultery. They pointed out that the law of Moses clearly states that such a woman ought to be stoned and uh, challenged Jesus to give his opinion as to what should be done, people. Jesus famously states, let he who is without sin, people, be the first, uh, throw, the, uh, <clears throat> throw the first stone, effectively, effectively saying that uh, capital punishment should be, not be carried out. See that? Jesus told them that there should be no capital punishment, people. But you're going to see his false prophets out there they all religious people, how they, they switch the coin and change the faces without the directly contracting the law of Moses, people, without directly contradicting the law of Moses. He told them not to do no capital punishment to the prostitute people. Jesus stopped, stopped them. But they killed Jesus later, don't forget that. Even that he told them that, that they're not supposed to do that, but that's exactly what they do. That's why I'm not dealing with these religious. While these examples may show that there was at least some opposition to capital punishment and decline in good usage, there can be no doubt that there are far more numerous verses that command and condone capital punishment and examples of it being carried out, people. There is the Torah in the Old Testament, and, uh, you know, but before we continue, I want to show you guys something, you know what I'm saying? That this capital punishment be delivered quickly, decisively, and without years of needless delay. Immediately, with trial, get the death penalty, but quickly, the trial should go fast. As rapidly as possible, not 15 years later, 20 years later, get the death penalty. They should get the death penalty, and they shouldn't have to wait years and years. Bring back the death penalty, they ought to give them a quick trial, and they ought to absolutely... 
Jesus told them they were not supposed to give no death penalty people. Jesus let the, the prostitute go. These dudes don't know what they're talking about, man. And what about the people that committed most uh, atrocious acts of crime in the history of man that we know? Is he going to give them that penalty? Or is this just for the poor people that he can, you know, rub off and play big boss? Is it just for the poor? Or is he going to use that law to actually get the big bad wolves that we know out there that commit massive, you know, crimes against humanity? Are they going to get that penalty? If not, shut the hell up, Trump. Let's go. Absolutely execute this maniac. Again, the words death penalty, death penalty, death penalty, death penalty. From no penalty. And this person, uh, identifies with the Christian uh, and you know he claims he believes in you know they call him Christ don't forget that and he doesn't know Christ's commandments how do you explain that you see what religion do I told you they're not about their book they're not but it's not about none of that <laughs> it's not about none of that it's all political let's go Mm -hmm. The death penalty. The death penalty. Mm -hmm. The death penalty. Mm -hmm. It's called the death penalty. Mm -hmm. okay? Let's play with the death penalty. Let's see what happens. Bring the death penalty into vogue. Bring the death penalty to Norway. Death penalty all the way. The ultimate penalty has to be the death penalty. Now, maybe our country's not ready for that. It's possible. It's po No, nobody is ready for that because there is no righteousness in that. Because I didn't see no real, uh, no real, you know, people that deserve that penalty ever getting that uh, penalty. So leave the poor people alone, Trump. You, you, if they vote for you, man, and uh, I think Kamala is, you know, out of the way anyway. And this dude, he's got it easy. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the competition, or with the... <laughs> something like Kamala, he's, he's got it easy and he already ran one term, you know what I'm saying so if you're coming in man and if they really want to vote you man I don't want to know about any of that you know what I'm saying I don't want to know about any of that uh, nonsense okay, nobody asks for that nobody asks for their penalties nobody cares about that people ask for clean water people ask for uh, Free house, you know what I'm saying? Free housing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people ask for money in their bank accounts every month from the government, of course. That is money, and we want money. Instead of putting that money at work, we want that money to invest in the country, to invest in, in, in the future of the young ones. You know, we got, we got, we got ideas, we got projects, you know what I'm saying? But we need that money. But that money is going to work. So there's a problem with that. That's what he's supposed to be talking about. He's not supposed to be here talking about dead penalties. Dead penalties. Dead penalties. It's like a clown thing. Let's go, man. It's crazy. That our country is not ready for that. And I can understand it, maybe. Although personally, I love this. And uh, I think you, in your meeting with governors earlier this week, individually, and and as a group, That's another thing he wants. He wants to get rid of the gun free zones people. He's coming to take some people's freedoms out. And uh, we were told that the states that have guns are the ones that have less crimes. And the ones that don't are the ones that get paid for more crimes. How do you explain that? It doesn't even make sense logistically. We're even talking about get rid of guns. No, everybody should have guns. That should be the new law. Okay? To stop. And this is one reason why the world is the way it is. Because everybody doesn't have a gun. So, you know what I'm saying? You need to be colonized not to have a gun. Let's go. Spoke about, um, about states He's a colonizer. Steps, but the focus He's is Trump, dude. To literally give families and give local law enforcement 
enforcement mm -hmm. with additional tools if an individual is reported to be a, a potential danger to themselves or others. Uh, allow due process so no one's rights are trampled. But the ability to go to court. Then Trump is talking about is is all or not. I don't even want to waste my time with this crap. Trump is talking about he wants. Uh, he's worried about the cops. He wants even a, a death penalty. If, like if somebody kill a cop, there's death penalty too. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be death penalties for everything. But what happens when somebody goes to somebody else's country and kill innocent people? Is a cop worth more than innocent people and babies and women and all that? That actually build nations and add pillars. Can I ex can anybody explain that? And you worried about some dude? And you worried about the guns? Hmm? And even if you took all the guns out of the streets, then what? Do you, Will you take all the cops off the streets because then you don't need cops, do you? And the cops shouldn't have guns too. They're going to take their guns too because they don't need guns. If the, if the, if the civilians have no guns, why do cops have guns? Then they, they will take... <laughs> the, the cops are, you know, are next. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but I think these guys run, man. Scary people. That's for any any weapons in the position. We're going to take the firearms first and then go to court because that's another system. Because a lot of times, by the time you go to court, it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures. Uh, I like taking the guns early, like in this crazy man's case that just took place in Florida. He had a lot of firearms. They saw everything. To go to court would have taken a long time, so you could do exactly what you're saying, but take the guns first, go through due process second. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna close because this video is going long and uh, then there will be a problem when it, when it plays on YouTube. But uh, to, to finalize man, I just want to, to see this video man and think about these men and their religion and how it doesn't go together, people. He's lying, he's not even lined up with the, with the religious Christianity is is making things up. Never talking about he wants to create a death penalty law all over the place to protect his God. Like if you speak something against Yahweh, they arrest you and they put you to death. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's righteous? Is that why you vote? That's up, man. I love you all. Keep the instructions. Peace.